What is up guys, Panic Flips here. Today we are reviewing the V1 Cracker Racken by Squid Industries. And I'm standing on a little bridge right beside the river. Um, and I thought let's make this review here because it's kind of spiritual looking here. So yeah, um, I have to find a good background so that you can see the flipping. But yeah, I think it's a good place to start here. I may have some cuts in here if there are people or animals walking by. You never know. But yeah, let's get it started. So let's start off with basic specs. We got a 7075 channel handle construction made out of aluminum. We got T10 screws. They're not double sided. It's just a female part and a male part. They are T10. We got press fit Zen pins, a S35VN blade, I think. It's some type of hardened steel. I could be wrong on the um, could be wrong on the blade steel though. Don't quote me on that. This is not a very like spec review, spec based review. Um, this is more of a flipping review. So I can't provide you guys with the craziest flipping in this video, but. I'll try to make some some good videos for you guys to give you guys a good idea of what this belly can perform because straight up spoiler this is one of the best bellies I've flipped and I've heard in many other reviews that people say this knife just ruins all the other knives for them because this just flips so good the hybridity is that a word um, that this knife has it just performs everything in every aspect so good you can roll over you can chaplain you can aerial you can damn you can even giraffe if i would be able to do it but you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with it it's just insane like it has a very neutral balance which makes it great for fanning this is the tanto variant i've also had the buoy or bowie variant which is a little more handle bias and it carries momentum in a very different way but this just flows like goddamn. you give it the spin and it just goes like momentum is no problem with this and you can even do ricochets quite well tacky stuff this just performs so so good and it even sounds good this is a version one so compared to the newer versions, it has a kind of a more square handle structure, if you can maybe tell. And I don't know the minor details, but it doesn't have that jumping line here and it may have some other slight differences, but yeah. This is also first production run, number 307 out of 800. Pretty cool, you know, a serial number is always cool to have. But yeah, I've had this for a month or two. I got it second hand on Instagram and so far it's been my favorite. Ah oh, fuck, I just got synced by this little fucker. Um, so far this is the favorite belly of mine. This is the best belly I've flipped so far. Like the squiggle wrap comes close to this, but it just performs so, so good. It's insane. Like, as I said, you can do everything with this. And when I first got a Kraken, it was a Kraken trainer, a V2. Um, it was red, the OGs may remember it. But um, when I first got my um, first Kraken, I've always um, had gripes about the grip and just the way it felt, which was mainly due to the, to the blade, which the Kraken trainer had. Um, and also just I don't know what was different, but the coating on here, on the aluminium, was just not for me. Maybe my hands just changed over time or I got better as a flipper and don't have many problems with grip anymore. My camera keeps on focusing. But yeah, now I don't have any problems with this. The grip is just enough to provide um, no slipperiness and also you can just move around on the belly you know that's also a good uh, thing because 
on other bellies, if they're G10, for me personally, your fingers get dry after a longer time of flipping and you just get stuck on a knife sometimes when fanning or doing something like that. But yeah, this knife doesn't have that. In any aspect, it's very, very good. If you can really buy one, if you, can, if you have the chance to get one, just do it. And if you don't like it, just sell it again because these are always on the market. I've got this for 200, I think. Yeah, I think it was 200 or 180. I don't remember the exact price, but it was a good deal um, from Europe, from a guy in Europe. So yeah, it's a very quick review, but I just thought let's do it while I'm in the forest and in this spiritual place. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little review and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.